Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. Sword in the road, some sort of form of victory, truth, clarity. Oh, you could have had some some sort of ending here. Hmm. Let me get more because there could be somebody in your energy who misses you. Yeah, there's somebody here in your energy collective who ran away from you, ran away from the connection. They ran away from the truth. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe you ran away from this person because you learned the truth about them. Either way, somebody is missing someone here, okay? This person, whoever ran away is missing. Um, well, not necessarily. We'll see. Let's pull some more cards. All right, the palm tree. Stability. So somebody here is going towards security, stability, and growth. Okay. Hmm. The butterfly, yeah, the part, this, this is the thing, the butterfly just flipped out in reverse. So the runner the, is the person who listened to their ego and they had a fear of intimacy here. This person was afraid to grow, okay? They had some inner childhood wounds and they lacked growth. So there's an energy here, someone who either this person was not vibrating at the same length, they weren't ready for the same things at the same time that you were ready for. This person still had some healing to do because this palm tree is here upright. But this runner, this, this butterfly energy flipped out in reverse on top of the runner energy. <laughs> it's like somebody ran away from the truth. I don't know. This is, you know, people do it all the time, unfortunately. What else do we have? Cupid's arrow just fell on the floor upright. So you may have new love coming in here, but it could be for some of you all, this pers past person that's missing you, they want to talk. Could be. But you also can have new love coming in. So let's see what's going on here. Let's use the Light Seers Tarot deck. Make sure you guys hit the like button if you are here. It helps the channel to grow and it also helps whoever else needs to get the message to receive the message. And it allows for us to exchange energy for a more accurate reading, whether you believe it or not. Okay, show me more here about the situation. Four Pentacles, somebody still holding on to you. Oh, Seven of Swords. Interesting. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Self-evaluation maybe here. Somebody is holding on to a decision that they made. This is giving me two things. This could be you saying, no, 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 no. I'm sticking to my guns. I know what happened. I know what you did, right? Because we did have the sword and the rose energy out here, which could be you receiving some form of clarity, truth, or having re revelation about something. Although someone here, it feels like could be going through that. Um, I don't know who this is though. I feel like you're not holding on to anything from the past. Somebody here is holding on to something from the past and they're having some form of revelation about it. Okay. I feel like you were in your, you're in the energy of just moving on and working on your stability. Okay, healing and growing here. Look at this, Pisces energy, Scorpio energy here with the judgment and high priestess. Hmm. Some of y'all could have trusted your inner knowing or need, need to trust your inner knowing here. Six of wands, bottom of the deck is the six of cups with the ace of cups. So listen, I feel like you at the end of the day, <clears throat> Are choosing to trust your intuition and move on and you're gonna be successful but just know there's somebody here <laughs> missing you and thinking about you show me this other person's energy here how are they feeling about the collective here the past person page of Pentacles they want to offer you something they could be a younger earth sign they want to offer something to you. You could be a Taurus, the Empress. <laughs> you got your back turned to them. You're not paying this any attention. And there goes that King of Wands. Could have been your runner, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a fire sign. Mm. This could also be somebody new who you're facing. You're looking at them. Well, no, not really. You're kind of not looking at them, but... 
think you're busy doing other things. I think you're not focused on anybody right now. I really don't. I don't, I don't see you focused on a, a connection right now. There's an offer coming in and you don't see it or you're, you're just turning your back to it. Two of Wands. So this King of Wands wants to take action. Too. <laughs> He's ready to take action here. What does he want to take action and do? Nine of Wands. More Wands. Jeez. What does he want to take action and do? Fight for this? Oh my gosh. Somebody here has been through something. Ten of Swords. Ooh, somebody's been through something. Show me more on this King of Wands. Okay, Four of Swords. Somebody here is taking a break from a, a, a... This person could have been healed. This could be somebody new. Again, for those of you where this is not somebody new, man, this person is trying to manifest you back and they want to work something out with, here, with you here again. Ace of Cups is back on the bottom of the deck. So you do have a love offer, whether it's new or old. Okay. Is this King of Wands old or new here, please? Even though that's who we asked about. I just want to double check. You're on a break from this person, though. Some of you all, I'm going to tell you that now. There's no communication. There's definitely a separation and a breakup here. This because someone here just told some lies or some form of communication or something conversation happened between the two of you where there was a betrayal somebody's been through a lot nine of wands ten of swords four of swords somebody's been through a lot um yeah show us the empress energy queen of cups very kind loving person you could be a water sign a cancer pisces or a scorpio this person sees you as like just so loving some of you all might be single mother or just if you're not a mother you're just very loving nurturing being very beautiful on the inside and out a giver a giver some of you all are empaths more scorpio energy with the seven of cups what are you confused about? If you resonate as the Divine Feminine here, you're showing up as the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Cups energy. Either you're going to have multiple options here, right? New and old from the past. Or you're confused about this King of Wands. Okay. Show me more on this Empress, please. The Moon. Mm, something hidden here. Cancer energy. Show me more on the Empress. Ten of Pentacles. What about this Ten of Pentacles? Manifesting it. You're manifesting something. Hmm. I feel like that's new. Give me one more. That Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is new. But you're in this energy in your head a lot. There's going to be a lot of confusion between you and whoever this new person is. Five of Swords, Eight of Swords, you're pretty much in your head quite a bit, like the, with, especially with the Seven of Cups. Divine Feminine, I feel like that. What, what? Do you feel like this person's hiding something here? What's the moon about? Is that your emotion of fear? Are you afraid? What, what, what's this moon about here? Why is the moon here? You're holding back. You're holding back. Be a secretive, quiet. Strength card, Leo energy. Why? Why is the divine feminine, hold, feminine holding back? <clears throat> Conflict and drama. Wow. Five of Wands. There could be some external factors here. You could be holding back from somebody who <sighs> caused a lot of drama, a lot caused you a lot of headache. That could be why you're so confused here, or just there could have been multiple options in the situation. What's this Five of Wands energy about? Yeah, this is, there was an ending over some form of drama, and you don't want any part of it. You're just like, it's over, I'm done. For some of y'all, it definitely was a third party. It was a third party, for sure. Let's get some situation cards and see what's going on. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, somebody got caught. Burning evidence. Somebody's getting ready to move here. Jeez. 
This was a very stressful situation. Somebody may have had to figure out whether or not they were going to move and go somewhere or they needed to move. There's an energy of like... Well, let's see. You just dodged a bullet whether you know it or not. You guys just dodged a bullet. I know whatever this is may have been difficult, but you totally like just escaped a drama filled whatever which tells me there was gonna be more drama at some point down the line here there is some sort of gossip on social media here happening that you could be maybe not even aware of i don't I, this is weird i feel like you're acting unfazed right now or even if you are phased you, you don't show it you know you're just hanging out, having a, trying to do what you can, have a good time, you know, um, celebrating with your family. There could be a reason for you to celebrate here. We've got stability, harmony, go with the flow. I feel like this is you and that palm tree energy. And then on the bottom of that is apology. There's somebody here who wants to apologize to you over some drama. <sighs> Show me more about this King of Wands energy, please. Let them go. Wow. Somebody here did not learn a lesson. Creeping. Yeah. This for like I said, some of y'all that creeping could have been stalking you on social media, like I just said, or for some of y'all the creeping could have been third party. So I creep. Yeah, just creeping on the down low. Yeah, because nobody was supposed to know. Somebody could have lied and say they were working. And they weren't. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, 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 okay. Somebody here has some, some, <laughs> somebody's got some mom bills to pay, either alimony, child support, or something. And they're having trouble with it. Somebody here could even have lied about um, where they were or that they were alone. Wow. Either way, this person is still missing you. They can't stop thinking about you, but I really feel like that strong sexual energy. Just know that this person is actually watching you. They're watching you. Okay. Show me more about this situation between the two, between the divine feminine, please. Perspective. So, all right. You feel like you're better off without the situation, or you will feel like that very soon. I'm telling you, you guys did dodge a bullet. Rejection is protection, okay? <clears throat> I don't... This confession energy just flew out in reverse. So, I feel like somebody here is just keeping something from you. And they needed to come clean and they refused to come clean about a situation. That's what I'm getting here. And you had to find out another way. And yeah, broken, heartbroken, destroyed. When you found out, you were pretty shattered. Yeah, all over this lusting energy here, this third party, something somebody did, okay? Very sexual, non-committal, forbidden third party energy. And there goes the chaser. So now we have the runner is out here and now the chaser has just come out. Mm-mm-mm. You know, you have a past life with this person. You you may have even repeated a, a karmic cycle with this person more than once. Okay? Try again. Spirit is telling you divine feminine because this is what just came out. Divine feminine with past life. Bottom of the deck says new beginning. Try again. New direction. Start over. So this is spirit telling you divine feminine. Who Those of you who resonate in the feminine energy right now. Male or female. Like... There was something shocking that happened here. And it's just time for you to look away and go the other way. I feel like you, like, yeah. <clears throat> I've maybe even had, like, felt, I don't know, cut the deck, twin flame. <clears throat> Some of you are dealing with twin flame. We did see the chaser and the runner out here. I didn't want to say that because maybe not all the time you see the chaser and the runner. It's got to be twin flame energy, but... Mm -hmm. 
All right, so show me here what this what this person wants to say to the collective, please. To the divine feminine. What does this person want to say to the divine feminine? I want to make things right. I really do care even though I don't show it. I'm afraid of commitment. I mean, they are. They want to go hang out and have fun. So, you know, and creep like TLC. Um, I'm holding on to the memories of us. Yeah, that's that Six of Cups energy. We've said they did miss you, right? They are holding on to the, I mean, I wish you were here with me. Funny how they wish they were here with you because when they was with somebody else, did they wish that you, you, did they wish you were there? Why weren't they there with you when this occurred? I'm scared you will reject me. And you might. I fantasize about you. I told you. This is fantasizing energy. It's like, you know, um, sexual energy, I really feel like, honestly. I was selfish and stuck in my ego. <laughs> they were. I want a future with you. They will never compare to you. I can't go another day without you. I'm ready for a commitment. I am just, I'm caught up in a karmic relationship. So listen. Oh, look, I've been watching your socials and admiring your pictures. I told you guys. You know, even though this person says they want commitment, this I'm afraid of commitment card came right out of the gate. And, they, and their behavior is showing me that they're still not ready yet. The, the growth card came out in reverse, which was the, uh, was that the dragonfly came out in reverse? It's like this person just lacks learning the lesson, and I think you are tired of the cycle. So, yeah. Um, let's see what, um, your advice, let's get you some advice. Let's see advice for the collective dealing with this situation. Whether you resonate as a divine masculine or divine feminine in this situation. What's the advice? All right. Your advice is to continue to heal and move in a different direction. Okay. It's time for you to be brave and look in a new direction. You're in a powerful energy, experiencing a powerful energy shift right now. It's meant for you to... Just don't fight it. You know, that's really basically what Spirit is saying here. The number 10 is here. Today is October the 10th and the number 20 is here. That could be significant for you. Maybe your birthday's on the 10th. Maybe your birthday's on the 31st. Ancient wisdom. So you're going to be learning quite a bit from this situation. And I uh, just feel like there's some energy coming in here for like a solar eclipse or something that you're shifting and changing. You know, and, and it, it's just unfortunate because I feel like it was really like heartbreaking for you. You're in this five of swords, eight of swords energy and the five of wands popped out. It's like a lot of turmoil in the situation. Just hang in there. Hmm. Past is talking, thinking about returning. This person might return, you guys. So keep that in mind, but anywho, the zodiac signs you could be dealing with, we saw Pisces, we saw Leo, we saw Taurus, what else do we see? Um, and let's pull some other signs. We've got Cancer, Leo, Aries, Taurus, Leo again, Taurus again, Virgo. Libra. All right. Yeah, we are in Libra season. So if your birthday's today, happy birthday, Libra. Uh, this reading could have been for you. Until next time, you guys. Bye.